So I'll check boys and girls. Equal opportunity. How's it going everyone? Don Crawford, back with another video here. Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm a full-time real estate investor here in Scottsdale, Arizona. I am not the most successful person in the world. What I am is a hard-working dude who tells it like it is. Worked in large volume wholesaling offices. I've bought and sold a lot of my own properties. I now own rental properties, do a lot of the renovations with these two hands right here. I get some help from time to time as well. But I make these videos to help anyone out there who wants to be a better real estate investor or even get into it, okay? So today we're gonna to talk about one of my favorite topics, which is busting some of these online myths about real estate investing, okay? Because they are just ridiculous and someone's probably taking your money, okay? A lot of the big name guys, you know, hey, buy my system, you're gonna make a million dollars. Let me tell you, every credit card payment you've ever sent those guys has bought their Ferrari that you liked on Instagram, okay? Think about that for a second. And it probably hasn't landed you a deal, okay? So what I'm gonna talk about today is one of the first subjects that most people approach me about, which is the subject of money, okay? How to do a deal with no, none of your own money and none of your own credit, and it's all gonna be great, and this unicorn is gonna fart into your checking account and you're gonna be fucking rich, right? Not how it works, Junior, sorry. So, let's talk about what actually happens, right? Here's what we got. No money, no credit deals, bullshit, okay? Let me back up and say that the mechanics of flipping a home in the wholesale world, right? And that's what I'm referring to today. We're not talking about painting and carpet and all that stuff. That takes money, 100%. The mechanics of flipping a home in the wholesale world do not require you to put anything on your own credit report, and they do not require you to bring money sometimes, okay? That part is 100% true. Where people fuck up is that what no one tells you is you have to spend money on marketing, okay? So let's dive in here. I don't have all day. <clears throat> the fact of the matter is, oh, this is my little diagram of bullshit here. Sorry if it looks like a beehive, I'm not an artist. Anyway. The transaction itself. The transaction involves putting a property into escrow, right? And then selling the property while it's in escrow. That is how wholesale deals work. So you never own it, you're just trading the paper. That transaction, you are absolutely correct in believing that it requires none of your own money and none of your own credit. That is 100% true, okay? Here's the kicker. How do you find the person that's willing to do that deal with you? How do you find them? You gonna walk down the street, knock on doors, you're gonna mail them a letter. Well, you need shoes, you need clothes to walk down the street. You need time in order to do that. If you're gonna mail letters, you're gonna need paper, stamps, envelopes, some way to get them to the post office. My point is this, the marketing to consistently find real estate deals takes money. It requires money, okay? Flat out, there's no way to get around it. You ask any of these big guys how they, how do I find motivated sellers? There's a billion resources on the internet. They all require money. There is no secret hack. There is no magical phrase, none of that stuff, okay? I've worked with a lot of big name people in the industry, guys who are doing hundreds of thousands of dollars a month in wholesale fees. They all spend a ton of money on marketing, okay? Whether they do that the old fashioned way, whether they do it in a very technologically advanced way, is something I'm gonna get into on another video. Uh, there's some trade secrets there that if you want those, you're gonna have to call me up and pay me. Sorry, because I use those myself. But the thing I wanna really, really drill home today is that the no money, no credit stuff that someone's selling you online or what, whoever you're following on Instagram or Facebook or Snap or whatever else, bullshit. Okay, it is 100% bullshit. You have to have some money to get started. What most people do is they put that initial marketing drip on their credit card and it's a great way to go into consumer debt, okay? If that's your only option, take a hard look in the mirror if you wanna do it, that's totally okay. But the point I'm trying to make is that it does take money, it does not necessarily take credit in order to land these deals. Okay? Even if all you're doing is cold calling people, you still have to get a list of people to cold call and you're still gonna have to pay to get their phone numbers, okay? And also your time is worth something, okay? If you're young, you're just starting out and your time's not worth anything, totally cool. I am not, I am in my mid thirties, I own rental property, I also have a life, I have a family, 
I want to spend time with my friends. I have fitness that I like to do. I like outdoor activities. My time is valuable to me. I'm not going to waste it without getting paid. Okay? So let's talk about a little bit more of this, and I'm going to break it down more over here. So take away from now, no money, no credit, steaming, poorly drawn pile of bullshit. Okay? So there's two components to getting these deals done. All right, I'm draw a nice green line down the middle here. To flip, meaning to get the property, sell the property, and make some money. That does not require, technically, money of your own. It can, depending on the parameters of the deal. I've had to front moving costs. Uh, I have a great Beers and Stories episode with Brandon Simmons. You should check it out. He literally had to uh, get a tortoise adopted, a desert tortoise. That's a true story. They're in, they're, I don't know much about desert tortoises, but he had to call the desert tortoise people to come get it. Um, another story he tells is that a lady had an extremely elderly sick dog and he had to go with her to put the dog down at the vet. I can't imagine that. That would be an emotionally just wrecking experience for me because I love dogs a lot. But this typically is going to take not a lot of money. Oh my God, this marker sucks. Sorry. That's not going to take a lot of money. Okay. So this money, not so much. Okay. To find that deal, what did he have to do to find that deal? Okay. You need to get a list. What is a list? A list is a giant Excel spreadsheet or a paper list of properties in your area that might fit what you're looking to buy. Okay. Maybe you work the foreclosures list. Maybe you work the pre foreclosures list. Maybe you work code violations. Maybe you work tax liens. Maybe you're just looking for a certain price point house and a certain zip code with a certain level of equity. Maybe you're looking for homes that were bought between certain years. So you know that the loans are good because you do subject to deals. I don't know what you're looking for, but you're going to need a list. Some are free. Some you pay for. This is what it is. So this is going to take money. Capiche? Right? To flip, you're going to need a title company. Right? You need a friendly title agent. Those are typically a cost that the eventual buyer of your property will pay. However, in the business world, which is what you're entering, this isn't an investment, this is a business, you're going to need to establish a relationship with a title company. What that means is a little bit more than just sending some shit email from your desk and hoping. Go down there. Get in the car, put on a decent shirt, shake everyone's hand, take them to coffee, do the thing in order to build a business relationship. That's also going to take some money. Okay. So this one here, it's not in the free category. Sorry, my friends. All right. The next thing you're going to have to do, you're going to have to get data. Everyone always talks about data. Where do you get your data? All data is, is being able to put a name and a phone number to an address. Okay. So 123 Main Street in your town, USA, is owned by someone. Who that someone is, I don't know. I don't particularly care right this second. But that information is out there, but you have to pay for it. If you want to call that person up and ask them if they want to sell their house, or if you want to send them a letter, or if you want to do any of that stuff, you're going to have to pay someone to get the information for you in bulk. Okay? It just, there's no way around it. Like my coffee mug, someone gave it to me. I thought it fit very well. Anyhow, <clears throat> so you're gonna have to pay for data, right? You're gonna need some software, right? So, a workspace software of some type. Um, there's a lot of different vendors out there. I've had great and bad experiences with almost all of them, but that costs money. You're gonna have to manage this stuff. If you wanna get these deals and you wanna make this money, you need to be organized. The best way I know to do that, unless you just have 5,000 square feet of marker board to write down every property and all the notes, is a software platform. That's going to take some money. You have to stay organized in this business because the people that make the money follow up with these folks relentlessly. They call them 10 times, they email them 5 times, they text them 10 times. In order to do that in an organized fashion, you have to have some type of software to keep it all clean on your computer or you're going to go nuts. And you're never going to get a deal. Okay. So this is going to take money. And these are all the steps that you have to do to find these motivated sellers. And the reason I wanted to do this video today is to show you that yes, what they're telling you is half the truth. You can flip a property with no money and no credit. You might even get insanely lucky. 
Uh, I have a Beers and Stories drop in here soon. That's a girl named Stephanie Polidoroff. She's awesome. Totally kicking some ass in the investment world. Worked for someone else, went out on her own, is doing well. She hit a massive deal off her first bandit sign campaign, which, watch the video, I mean, my head pops off because I hate bandit signs. I think they're a crap way to get deals. She ripped a monster off that thing. Was it luck? Probably, and she'll admit that because she hasn't been able to replicate those results. The point being is that technically she flipped the home with no money and it didn't go on her credit report. A plus. However, she had to spend the money on the marketing to get the list, get the data, the software. She had to buy the bandit sign. She had to do all of this stuff in order to get the deal in order to flip with no money and no credit. Okay? So this is important that you understand the difference between these concepts is that if you're brand new to this game, maybe you found this video stumbling around one night, you're looking to make a move in real estate or whatever else. Don't go out and spend a bunch of money on one of these courses, okay? I remember buying one when I was younger, I forget which one it was, it came in a big green book is what I remember. And it didn't tell me shit. It gave me a couple of blank contracts that a three-year-old could have shot a hole in legally. And it didn't, it was just a waste of money, absolute waste of money, because I was very enamored with the idea of flipping homes with no money down and none of my own credit, because I had terrible credit at the time. Got another video about that, it's fixed now, but I'm very open about that. I had bad credit because I made bad choices. Now it's better. But don't let them sell you a fucking pipe dream. Don't do it, okay? This stuff works. There's people out there doing this every day. They are not the world's smartest people. They're not the world's dumbest people, but they're organized. They're not scared to spend money on marketing and they're getting these deals done, okay? So I hope this cleared up the concept for you about what represents a no money, no credit deal and what, it, what is required to get there, right? People grind it out, they make a lot of phone calls, they send a lot of direct mail, they might have um, other types of campaigns like Google pay-per-click or maybe they, they have a website that they run, but all of that costs money. It's not insurmountable, but I did want to give you guys some ranges. Most of the people I know who are doing this, you know, a single person working at home, maybe they got an assistant, they're doing four or five deals a month, their marketing budget is about $5,000 every single month that they're gonna spend, right? And that's a ballpark, but to give you an idea of what you're working with, okay? Their transaction costs, meaning every time they flip a property, they can range anywhere from no money, no credit, right? What we were talking about, that does happen on the flip. I have personally seen and had to spend upwards of 20,000 in order to get a transaction done. Back taxes, moving costs, you name it. Uh, we had one guy that had credit card debt and they leaned his house. So we had to figure out a way to pay off the credit card debt just to get him out of the house. That all requires money, okay? So every deal is a little bit different, but the thing I want you to take away from this is that even your average person who's just doing this on their own, they're spending five grand a month or so to have consistent deals come in, okay? They run it like a business, that's my point. There's people out there who spend no money, they just hustle. I guess that works if you have to, but given the option, I'd rather spend some money and have deals coming to me. So anyhow, I hope this was very helpful to you, maybe even just a little bit helpful. Um, these deals are out there. You can do this. It's not that hard. If I can figure it out, you can figure it out. But just, I want everyone to understand the blunt reality of this business rather than running around with these pie in the sky, you know, unicorn fart ideas that are never going to get you anywhere. Okay. So again, my name is Darwin. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I would appreciate a subscribe if you think any of this stuff is helpful. If not, you can leave me a nasty gram in the comments too. People do it sometimes. I'm not that sensitive anymore. But in the meantime, go get some work done. We'll see you on the next video. And I hope your weekend kicks some ass. Later.